Stool Scenes, episode 47, part one. We got a very intense, very emotional, kinda, kinda real, a little too real show today. And it's really long. And you know what, folks? Because it's so long, you don't have time to be going to mattress showrooms, getting the whole awkward mattress showroom experience. You gotta go straight to lisa.com and get yourself a brand new mattress, high quality, for a very fair price. For the price of $525, you're gonna get a brand new mattress. I know you're thinking, oh my God, a high quality mattress for such a good price, 525 No, no, don't buy it just yet. Use promo code SCENES and you're gonna get $100 off. I don't wanna talk reckless on the other advertisers or promo codes we've had. That's the most money I've ever seen off on any promo code. Mattresses, 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 I've always wanted to say that. You're gonna get $100 off. Promo code SCENES, lisa.com. Go get yourself a brand new mattress. Get, get some pillows, get some covers, put them on it. Maybe a duvet, as I believe they call it. And sit back and tune in. We have a much anticipated episode, unfortunately for the wrong reasons. On Friday afternoon, it was revealed that our own Kevin Clancy, KFC, had been caught cheating on his wife, sent a shockwave through our entire office, the entire Barcelona world, and everyone was kind of waiting to see how would Kevin react after a very controversial weekend of tabloids, mean comments, internet hatred. Let's take it right to the scene Monday morning, and let's get into it. Happy Monday. I wasn't like gonna go out of my way to like feature this on Instagram stories or anything. Like I might do like something from the radio part, but aside from that, I got time. Okay. I I, I mean, I, got <laughs> I don't know. How we never had <laughs> no man a doctor in the office, <laughs> so it's like it's fucked. No manual. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> Look at that face. Oh, he looks like camera. Oh, so you that's... little one. It's not a big legger. What kind of dog? Uh, it's a mini walrus. It's <laughs> a what? A walrus? A walrus? A mini walrus. Wow. It's half shark, half beetle. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a big legger. Yeah, I actually got the right dog. A mini walrus. <laughs> oh, are you being serious? Yeah. It's called a walrus. It's, it's half. Look at his face. It's a walrus ass face. I don't think that's. I think that's a nickname. How big was you that can't call dog dogs is? other animals. Just did. They call it grapefruit. Grapefruit. Doesn't he look like a pulled back horse kind of? Eggplants. Somewhere in that ballpark. He did just have an ear infection. I don't mind biting that ear infection. <laughs> <laughs> What's, up, Very cute. What's the name? Chino. Gino. Chino. Chino. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of dog is this? It's a mini walrus. It's half shakai, half beagle. Very cute. I like that face. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be a weird face. It's a crazy so, night. Um, I, lo I love this, by the way. Uh, yeah, like, like we're gonna get through fucking four pages. It's your boy KFC. Oh, what a wild in uh, yeah. the wild card. <laughs> oh boy. Yep. I don't know where they're doing. Oh boy. 
Coley back with a dog just in time. I was going to say, I'm just going to hold it. Yeah. Just pet the puppy Very the whole time. Very it's going to be big, right? There's a lot of skin, a lot of room to grow. 40, 50 pounds. It's, uh, what kind of what breed is it? It's a mini walrus. It's half beagle, half chape. They call it a wal mini, mini walrus. walrus. Yeah, I mean, it's too funny to not say. Yeah. I thought you were just saying that. No, no. That's real. So curious what Frankie leads with. No, yeah, there's no music coming in. Oh, there isn't? No, it's the intro. He's yeah, been we, petrified. We I mean, I, that's all you could talk about. Yeah. I saw him at the bar. He's like, Do I, what music? <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> you want nerf? everyone's mic up at the start or just yours? I don't care. Whatever you usually everyone's do. Everyone's mic? Like, <laughs> like you, you could talk if you wanted to. What, are you going to show my mic? <laughs> no, I thought he was doing like a fucking... Because no, like, you... we're not doing an intro song. He's talking off the top. Oh, 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 you can do the regular, like... You do everything normal. Yeah, do everything wrong. Oh, I thought you were... Everything's no, 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 normal. My bad, my Don't bad. get... You do yeah, the whole thing. Like, <laughs> <you> just <laughs> just normal. Yeah, normal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got it. My fault. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. He's in his head so bad. He's so rattled. I mean, it is kind of weird to come in with, like, the... It's Barstool Radio, <laughs> but they just gotta do regular shit. All right, what up? It's uh, KFC, Kevin Clancy, back here live on the radio. Uh, it's been a horrible, terrible 72 hours for the people that I hurt the most in the worst possible way. Um, I have shocked and disappointed everybody in my life with what I did, uh, starting first and foremost with my wife. And my family. And... Uh, all the way down to co-workers and uh, even the fans. So the disappointment is real. I let everybody down in a big way. Super disappointed in myself, my family, her family, her, everybody, everybody that I know thinks, knows what I did was terrible, and it is. Uh, as far as the shock, I understand the surprise as well. If you were to like follow me on Instagram or just look at stuff on the surface, I think everything looked perfect. And I think the reality was uh, different. And that reality I should have handled entirely differently. I should have handled that with, uh, I should have handled that maturely. I should have handled that honorably. I should have handled it like a man and a father and a husband. And I didn't do that. I handled it like a coward and a child. And I was selfish. So um, I am here now because I want to face the music, own up to what I did, uh, take my beating. Still some stuff that uh, I just don't want to talk about or not in a way that I want to protect myself, but I just think that there are some things that still should remain private. Uh, a lot of this has gone public, but I don't think everything needs to be public. Everything um, that is happening is because of me, and all I can do now is do what's best for them going forward because I, I just don't want to make things any worse than they are. So I'm here because I'm, I'm making things work. I'm trying to make things work at home. I am trying to rebuild the relationships that I broke, trying to find the trust that I lost at home, privately, behind closed doors. But in, as I do that, I'm not going to hide from the public because I always have been public. I always have talked about myself and talked about other people's personal relationships. So it would be uh, disingenuous of me to not sit here and uh, do the same when I'm the one going through the mud. Quite Take a start to the show. So I, I, I don't know how I'm going to act during this show because obviously it's always like give and take, but you know, there's other side to it. Coley's got a smirk on his face over these. Because you have a fucking dogs. smirk on yeah, your face. I have a smirk on my face. <laughs> like if there's somebody else, we, 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 you drag. Yeah, we drag. You'd pry, you'd you drag. drag. Yeah. No, when it's your friend Which, or somebody you I mean, you, you can know. go ahead and do it. Uh, I'm just saying that there will be things that I'll I don't know. We'll see where it goes. But right. if, if I if I feel like there's something that I, if I say it, I'm gonna make things worse for her or for the kids. I'll probably just say I'm not gonna talk. Correct. About it. And let me tell you how I found out. By the way, so I walk on work Friday. You called me, and my I didn't charge my phone properly. And you're like, uh, I'm not gonna be on radio today. I have serious family issues. And then my phone died. Mm -hmm. So I had no idea what it was. I walked in. We had a meeting instantly. Didn't know what it was. 
Then I had another meeting, didn't know what it was, and Feidelberg came running up to me. He's like, I gotta talk to you as I was going to take a shit. And I read it, the shit, and I was like, oh my God. I wasn't gonna say anything because it was like a very serious issue, um, clearly. And I didn't think anyone knew, so I was just gonna be like, I'm never gonna say anything. I saw a tweet, I think, that Caitlin did and deleted it instantly. I'm like, nobody saw it. Somebody ran in and showed me the tweet, but it was like a protected account. Nobody saw it. Then uh, we had the three Instagram posts, which I would say were designed to bury you, basically. Like, I mean, let's get this out. Almost that's why people are like, oh, don't compare it. I thought it was, like, obviously apples and oranges, but, like, her version of Grudgment Day, like, all right, this guy fucked me over. Now I'm going to go, like, ham, just so everybody knows. What was your, like, reaction when you, like, what was the time frame of when you realized that this thing was a monster, basically? Like, what what did you think when you saw those posts? Uh, she, we were texting, and she was like, I'm going public with this in a minute. Um, so you knew it was coming? Yeah. Um, I guess that's nice. In a weird way to be like, yo, I'm about to, like... Body, and I don't think anyone feels like, yeah, she had every right to do yeah. whatever. Mm -hmm. I mean, she um, she has every right to do to to respond in any way that she wants because once I, you do what I did, you know, all bets are off, and, and you can take it any direction you want. So uh, I mean, I I was uh, ready to. I mean, I was just like, all right. I mean, I can't. I, there was no way I could talk her out of it or tell her not to. At that point, I just said to her, I know, you know, I I, I was saying I I. Think about the kids before you do anything, and if you still wanna, if you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it. Um, did did so. you did it change? Like, were you already like rock bot? Like, did it change? Any, did the going? I guess not. I, well, it's your. Did that change anything at that point, or were you already like so far? It was like the. It was. Uh, I mean, it was complete rock bottom on a personal level with the marriage and the family. I mean, our family is all new. It was never like just between us. So, um, personally, like totally rock bottom. That was just like. Well, now it's going to have to be a professional thing that I'll have to work through as well, but that's coming in such a distant second place yep. that, you know, it's just a, another thing, but it's not nearly what my priority is. When I saw it was on the New York, uh, in the post, the New York Post, I thought it was photoshopped. Like, someone tweeted it to me, and I literally was like, there's no way that's front page news on the post. Mm -hmm. You've since been post Daily Mail, um, Daily People Mail Mag today. Pe People did it? People Magazine. Oh, my God. I actually thought of sending you a tweet. Hey, Kev, congrats. You made it to People Magazine, but I thought it was in poor taste, so I <laughs> ate that tweet. There's been a lot of things that you I've, swallowed. Yeah, that I've eaten. So is that person done? Like, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, there's no connection going forward with that. It's not like a who do I want to be with sort of thing. Right. That's absolutely over. Um, was, my what, focus is my family. Was the Instagram, like, correct that it was, like, an eight-month relationship? Is that... Um, yeah, I mean, I, I met her... I, I, yes. Um, been going on since I met her in June. Got it. So. Obviously, I've been married, separated. I think, by the way, you again, uh, I don't want, you made me look good, but uh, I think a lot of people... So I, I get maybe some, uh, some uh, more to it, but, you know, it's even on a guy level, it's like, all right, we, we have this relationship, but we're friends. And I wouldn't say we're, like, great friends. It's not like we hang out a ton. I, I clearly didn't, but I'm glad at this point you didn't introduce me to your parents and stuff like that. But, like, I didn't know Caitlin. I don't know that side. But when you are friends with a guy, it's like, well, you can see both. You're like, oh, total scumbag move. Like, wild scumbag move. Um, but he's still, like, your guy. So you're trying to, like, work through it. And for me on the business side, a lot of it is... What happens to KFC Radio? Like, if this is somebody else, if this is a bigger brand, that, like, it's tough to be short-term, I think, like, the spokesman, like, oh, do this, buy this, when it's like, everyone's just going to be like, this guy's, this guy's a scumbag. I'm going to ask you, like, how much time do we have before? I don't know. Tell me. What's up? Well, the question I was going to ask is, they once somebody posted, I was going to get to it, like, did you feel like a split personality? Because, like, one Instagram post, I don't one on the media put... It was like super lovey dovey, but it was like right in the middle of it. Yeah, we can talk about it. As, because you did, you had like a uh, very like kind of storybook, all as well, like Instagram profile of sorts. So there's yeah. one like family picture, I think it was maybe an anniversary post where you wrote like glowing words about everything basically, but it was right in the midst. Yeah. Of well, I mean, I'll say this 
I don't think anybody's social media is really real life, right? Uh, there are still still a lot. Jeez. There's still a lot that I do love, you know? Frankie, you can maybe, when we get into, like, crying moments, as, like, a producer, have, like, some sort of music made. <laughs> no, we're like, good. Just we're to, like, we're good. Well, I mean, we're good. Right. I, I, I'm saying, crying. we got a, we got a, ther we there's, got a therapy there's, dog there's in there. There's a couple yeah. things. There's, you know, there's still a lot that I, I, she's a wonderful mother. She was a great wife to me. Um, so, those posts were not necessarily, like, complete and total bullshit, although, like, they certainly seem that way. And then there's also an element of, there's a couple, you know, keeping up appearances and, uh, and also, you know, it was an anniversary or a birthday or something, and it was like I'm still trying. I don't. I'm not totally gone on every level. So like, I'm gonna post something nice, and um, you know, it's not that you know. It's in some in some levels, a lot of that is still true. A lot of it obviously feels like bullshit now, but uh, the social media thing is like social media is not always the reality of the world. You have this image, which a lot of people say, of like, you know, the everyday guy who's miserable, married, but not really miserable, and like it's all kind of. I think it just stunned people. I think that was a huge, for sure, you know, yeah. huge kind of factor. Uh, That's what makes it complicated. Yeah, man. Uh, the, the everybody else involved doesn't doesn't deserve that. Right. So. Like I want to pile on, but it's like there's the other side of it, like selfishly, like. You know, you stole your kids from me from jokes. Like, I can't make those jokes anymore, but I'm not going to go there because it's your moment. Pretty fucked up, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, right. Just add it to the list. <laughs> this is great that he's here. <laughs> it was uh, Demand by Erica. Really? So she was, she was, uh, she was uh, texting me, like, Saturday, maybe? When I first talked to Erica about this, uh, all she said ten times, was, no, ten, a hundred, fuck. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> She called me. I called her. She missed my call. She called me back, just being like, "What's up?" Like I don't think she knew yet. I was like, "Oh, what's up?" <laughs> she was like, "Yeah, what's going on?" I was like, "Oh boy, you are about to." So, like, what's your living situation right now? Are you? Um, the first night I went to my parents. The do your parents hate you? They are super disappointed. Uh, the thing That's, about, by the way, a brutal question. I can't even believe I just asked that. Uh, there, I mean, there's some, uh, for fam, you know, when you're, when you're family, it's like, you can't, I mean, they're stuck. That's, yeah. that's how I would describe them. I think they're like, fuck, we have to have this guy's back. Yeah. And I'll tell you who's had your back. Like, Brendan Clancy is like, yeah. for those oh, who don't know, his my guy. Yeah, tailing Kevin around to make sure, like, you don't make this worse, which give him credit. I don't. Well, yeah. I, I am prone to. I'm surprised worse, he's not so. in yeah. this. Yeah. With, <laughs> I, like, I bet he's probably no the door. Yes, yeah. with like cue cards. Yeah. All right. So uh, first night, parents. First night, parents. Second night, um, I, I, I think. I mean, I'm a little fuzzy, but uh, I went back home for the kids. I mean, it's fucking impossible to take care of two kids alone. So I went home. Um, she said I could stay the night, so I stayed the night downstairs like a separate room um then the, that morning we kind of woke up and you know did some talking and some yelling and her yelling at me and um i stayed again i mean i i basically been home and just trying to take care of my kids that and, is and give her it's, it's wild man i mean wild I'm, trying, I'm trying to you know like give her the space but also are we you know uh, are we gonna work through this or what are we gonna do and uh, it's still like so new. I mean, it all just happened so quick, and everything went crazy so quick. So, um, I don't know how much detail know. when you say it happened quick. I don't know how much detail you can give on this, but like, what was the chain of events that like happened? Like, how did you get caught? I was I lost my phone on I guess it was Thursday night. I was shoveling snow. And I lost it in the snow or something. I don't know. I went out with it, came back in, and I didn't have it. And so I didn't have my phone that night, and I was on Twitter on my computer and sending some DMs. And she has access to, she has her, my Twitter on her phone. And so she saw, she opened that up and saw that. So that was like Thursday night. Friday, I, you know, I called you, I took the day off, and I think Friday afternoon is when everything went up. I think. She, the Instagram post was Friday afternoon. Yep. 
Um, and then, so I spent one night, I think it was that Friday night, I stayed at my parents, then Saturday, and last night was home. Smitty, Smitty said, which is like, here's a hypothetical for KFC Radio Future. He said he thinks it's the worst thing you can do legally. Cheating. Well, the whole yeah. situation, yeah. Well, I, cheating, I don't know. I think it was right, the whole, the whole element around it. He was convinced, and I was trying to think, I don't know. Yeah, no, probably. But I don't even know if it is legal. Isn't it one of those blue laws? Like, isn't, like, adultery theoretically illegal? That would be, a, I guess, that's, that's semantics. Um, how do you lose your phone in the snow? That's like... Yeah. That's that's your boy. That's that's the big J. Yeah, I mean, you know what? Fucking I, with you. I you're your guy I, who you thought so, you had your so back. I, Jesus. I, took I, your phone I, I actually, through I the snow. I, like, I, oh, I, still, I still don't necessarily know what happened, but I know I went out with it. I didn't come back with it. And then there was guys um, with the snowblower, like, on the block. And I was like, call, that's why I went outside. I was, like, shoveling. And I was like, can you do my, my like, um, driveway next? And so if it was there, it just got snowblowed. <laughs> I already have made things absolutely impossible for my wife and family and my kids. And so now that that is the situation, because everyone just says, well, where was that, uh, you know, when you were fucking up? Obviously, yes, that, that makes sense. But now um, all I can do is do it going forward. I didn't keep, always keep family business in house. I've been an open book. So I have talked about my family and I posted pictures and all that stuff. Uh, I guess my response to that would be that I think at a certain level, a certain magnitude, a certain situation, I probably would have not. I probably would have kept things in-house. But I don't begrudge anybody for behaving in any sort of situation when someone has wronged them the way I wronged her. So she has every right to do that. And we are a super unique situation. Like, she had something, um, I'm sure, obviously, like she traded all to have Kevin be an accountant making a cent or whatever to not have this happen. Mm -hmm. But... The, when it happened, she has the unique ability to strike back with something that most people don't have that ability to do. So right. I, that's why I think it's impossible to be like, when. and again, apples and oranges, but when I went through my thing, which is so insignificant, a lot of girls were like, oh, I wish I had that. Like, you it, you mm -hmm. wish you had the vehicle to, like, fucking hit them where it hurts. This is a crazy show. This is, like, against all. What's that? This is like against all, like, this is not what people say to do. So I guess that's good, right? Talk always, about it? In this way, like, take two hours of calls. Like, everybody was like, put your statement out. You guys can even talk about it, but don't take calls. Play this out, Frankie. Oh, it's like uplifting. A little redemption. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's over, Kevin. No, no, well, it's this not. Was over. <laughs> this was over. No, it's... Credit to Dave. No, I mean, it's basic. Good job. Everybody did a good job. You cursed the wrong guy. Whoopsies. <laughs> what? He cursed the wrong guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Whoopsies. I get a little uh Pedro a little Titans, Kevin's life A little sloppy with my cursing. <laughs> <laughs> he was in the room at the time. Just bounce off the yeah. walls and uh, right off Dave. Dave's the devil, so bounce right off him together. <laughs> on I don't like rooting for the underdog. Hi. Hi, he doesn't like dogs, but I do. Yeah, I hate him. Hi. That's why I got a walrus. Hi, walrus. Yo, how is it how is it sitting here? I mean the the I didn't, for some reason, I did never cross my mind like he might cry with like the heaviest thing that ever happened to him. Yes. And he did immediately, and I was like, I had to like look at Sheena. Was... Yeah, what do you do? It, it is the rundown. It is Monday, January 7th. Uh, we cannot talk about the subjects. I don't think, I think. I think you're gonna have to get a rundown suspension, Kevin. We've gone back and forth on it, but the subject too light, too easy. Your front page news from People Magazine for all the wrong reasons. So for the first time, maybe has anyone ever been suspended? I think Trent was suspended once, but yeah, I think this is gonna be the first real suspension. We're gonna give you a 
a two week rundown suspension. Mm -hmm. Just not even necessarily like private life, private life, but it seems weird yeah, to be talking fair. about it's, these it's, subjects. Yeah, it's fair. I get so, it. Yeah. so boot the elephant in the room out. Yeah, yeah, you're you're an elephant. You're the elephant. <laughs> you're the elephant for the foreseeable not funny. Um Julie. Yes. <laughs> well, that's Wally Pitt, by the way, the celebration. Yeah. So, we'll bring you, Julie, you're out. We're going to switch this out. If you didn't know, we talked about it on Barcelona Radio, but uh, Read People Magazine, yes. Daily News, uh, New York up, Post, uh, every major publication. Kevin's an adult turner, and it's all over. Uh, and even after a very emotional day on Monday, right at the top of the show Tuesday, I had to get right back into it and tie up one more loose end. Coming to you live from Barstool headquarters in Manhattan, New York. It's Barstool Radio on Rush 93. It's KFC, it's Portnoy, and we got Fran in today. Oh, was awesome. All right, before we get into this, because it's awkward having Fran in here, and we, we're going to get back into nor normal stuff, but I mean, I feel like it's a mini elephant, because you haven't really, sp I mean, you do your thing. But for the record, Fran, how mad were you that you were dragged into the allegations of this? Or did you, it was so preposterous, I wasn't even sure you were going to respond. It was respond. so silly. It was, it was so preposterous. The only thing that I, that, that blew my mind is that people actually took it seriously. Yeah. But did they, I feel I like. Had, I had like. No, I think people did. I had like friend, not friends, like people who know me, but like two degrees of separation, like friends text my friends being like, oh my God, like what is going on? Like Fran and Kevin, like. And my friends were like, are you fucking kidding? Like, yeah, I mean, it was it a is, it We is get a lot of weird rumors. rumors I wanted, yeah. yeah. And and I can't tell whether people were... were t I'm, tr I'm starting to learn... You had never addressed it till obviously, this all broke, and then you're like, it's fucking not Well, I, mean, I, there was out, no I reason. sent out one tweet because some guy came at me and was like, oh, it's like the perfect timing. She's not there. Like... It's 1,000% well, it her. Well, was, it was perfect yeah. timing for other reasons yes, for you because yes. the prankation got better, yeah. it was I gave you some cover on that one. So like, nobody wanted that to happen, but if it was going to happen for you. The yeah. timing, kind of granted, like, like, like you yesterday would have been not fun for you to be you back been here the after prankation. Yeah. No. Right, no. I had prankation teed right. up and ready so to go. Got your back. That's, that that's nickname very, will still stick. Now, a good friend of the program, Johnny Football, got into a little internet spat with our own spider monkey, Eric Nathan. He, he kind of made fun of the Browns 0-16. Nate said, well, you're not even good enough to be on the 0-16 Browns. Dave had to step in. That's his boy. Don't mess with Johnny Football. Okay, that's good. He doesn't like you. No, he doesn't. Dave. You're going out. You're trying to use it. Dave, I didn't realize you were trying to use him for monetary gain. That's a little different. <laughs> Nate should just shut up. He should just shut up. Nate and Johnny, you, uh, what side are you taking there? Johnny. Nate's a fucking nobody loser weirdo. And Johnny Football is like the most electric athlete maybe in the last 20 years. So I'm going with the electric athlete, not the weirdo creepo loser who should stay below deck. Did John Denzel call for his job yet? He didn't because it's a class act. Yeah. Well, Nate's not a Browns fan. Nate should just stay below deck and fucking blogging, clean the floors. Nate was blogging a viral story. Everyone was talking about that 0 16 post. And then Manziel had uh, he rap. He blog it. He fucking. Did you just tweet it? He, yeah. he, he tweeted out. Manziel like replied to our. Yeah, Manziel replied no, to our article. It, 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 was, it was like the. It was the Canadian football thing. No, he said Johnny Football posts of Owen 16 chirp and he's not even good enough to play on the team or something like that. He's like, yeah, Nate should just shut up. Nate's, Nate should just shut up. And then the other one, <laughs> Johnny joined my team without me even asking. He's the biggest teammate guy there is. He did say you were funny. Yeah, he that said was I nice. a raise. He said I was funny. Can get that raise? I mean... Yeah, he did say he you should get a raise. He check himself. Did you hear that? Who, Dave? No, Johnny was like, you should get a raise. I know, I saw that. He tweeted that. It's a pretty nice gesture. Yeah. He's, he's, a, he's a, a teammate guy through and through. You said he needs to check himself. I mean, just chirping the Browns. Are you going to check him? He's barely a CFL quarterback. Like, chill, bro. If Johnny comes in and tries to start throwing nuggies around, I got your butt. Johnny's like 145 pounds. How much are you? I'm a little much right now. I don't want to talk about <laughs> a little holiday weight. 
Rude to ask. <laughs> yeah, rude Excuse to me. Ask. I mean, yo, but uh, after the holidays, no less. <laughs> That you like you. There's so much fucking negativity in this office. Like everything anybody. Does You're the lead me. negative guy. I'm the most positive guy I know. That's insane. Nate, that's like me being like. You I'm are by positive. far the most negative person in this office. Strong disagree. Nate, come on, you got to be a little self-aware here. What? I'm not the most negative person. Who's more in this negative? Office. This guy right here, for one. No, I don't. I'm not think the most so. negative person in this room. Well. The, the latest drama with you is involving the one and only Johnny Football. Yeah. Uh, so Johnny Manziel went on his, on his friend Instagram. Of the, friend of the program. Friend of the program. <laughs> willing, what was that? Willing participant in, in a big moment, like in a big time for us yeah. down in Houston. Yeah, that's why when you made that noise, what, what, what he did for us there in Comedy Central, like when we were able to do his comeback. He, what, 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 how did he benefit from that? He, because he was irrelevant at that point, and then finally after no, he was completely I irrelevant, strong he decided to... Well, let, let's not you. act like Johnny in football will ever be irrelevant. Yeah. Everything he does, Good. he's followed is... and watched. I mean, he may, he may not why be successful at the moment, Why did you but comment he's... on his Instagram if he's irrelevant? Because Why he... are you getting pulled into the radio right now if just by tweeting someone it becomes a story? Because he's so irrelevant, he's searching his name on Twitter and then being like, oh, you're so you, funny, you, bro. You're confusing Johnny the football. irrelevant. Johnny football is irrelevant. searching his name and then replying to Barstool. That's Nate. not so irrelevant. That makes me more relevant you, than you him. You can call that petty. Do we know he's you can searching call his name or like oh, yeah. he probably just follows Barstool and saw the article? Yeah. Or, no. or someone sent him. it to him? Yeah. Like, there's Nobody a, tagged him in it. There is a he's million ways that, oh my God. that you... But, but by the way, dude, that's not irrelevant. Like, yeah, it is. No, it's not. His, he couldn't get into the CFL. He's not successful, but he's not irrelevant. Why are you commenting on an irrelevant person? That's the because point. Because he was trying to chirp the Browns. And but why are he, you commenting on that? Because it was irrelevant. a national story. <laughs> How well, you said he's the irrelevant. The point that you even have a take to blog about is because he puts asses in the seat. You right. just said like, to him a national story. He's a celebrity, sure. I mean, we're, right. you we, can officially be a celebrity off, and we are officially off planet Earth. No mutual, you can be famous I, and also just be a I mean, we are going to have to agree to disagree to move on for the I mean, sake of this semantics. segment because, yeah, because, well, you just don't know the definition of words. Sure, Kevin. So he is absolutely relevant. That's why you're blogging about him. That's why it's a national story. He it's true. You what? wouldn't blog, you wouldn't chirp and blog about him if he was. I think irrelevant. I have a different definition of that word. Okay. You have the incorrect definition. Sure, Kevin. Uh, I think maybe it started as kind of. I think Dave even. The best there. part of this conversation, Nate, is it just reinforces that you don't know me at all, which is the exact spot I want to be. <laughs> all right, seems like an issue if you don't know your coworkers. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> final coworkers. final answer on my employees. Uh, it's like Belichick and his employee. You can't stay too close because then I can just cut you and fire you without any emotional connection. Final answer on Johnny Football. You are like, are you in a rivalry with Johnny? No, he's a teammate guy, and I want to see him turn his life around, and I think that with hard work and determination, anything's possible. And as you being the kingmaker here, you will make him relevant again. Already started yesterday. <laughs> Let's go to break when we come I back. I hate your name. More <laughs> more I legitimately don't like you. That's fine. I'm devastated, Dave. You should be. And finally, on a much, much, much lighter note, we would like to welcome a very new member to our office, Stinky Fish Boy. I eat fish all the time. I just don't understand why that fish smells like that. I can't believe somebody, I can't believe somebody walked in here and started eating fish. I can't believe it smells so bad. What's going on? Shame, what's... What does that smell? I don't know what the hell's going on. Well, it smells really bad in here. I'm like, I'm nauseous too. It smells. I feel like I should do like an exaggerated episode of Stool Seeds and everybody's like, you. It smells fucking awful. But like everything we do the whole episode is like. I mean, listen, I don't want to be mean, but it, it's wafting over here. Pretty, pretty. I feel bad like making fun of someone else's lunch. Is that not funny to eat fish? So bad. It's so bad. I can't even, I can't even, I can't even stand it. It's so bad. Can a guy just be healthy? No. Who's eating tuna? Fuck. <laughs> Who? Trent? I'm not going to hate on you because it's diet life. That's diet life. Yeah, exactly. What? Monster. It's like still just in the Which one did you get? I don't know. Yes, you do. No, I can't believe it. I don't know what's that. Do you smell it? 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 Do you
smell that? Smells Maggie? like. You and smell I can't. Like, yes. I can't smell no anything. Way. I'm so. Dude, in it's the radio like, room, I'm like. Three years. What is that? That's all the way down. I'm so congested, and I'm like. I'm not getting any. I don't know, Glenn. I don't know what. Glenn, you have. You can't smell. I have. Yeah, large genitals. I can't smell. There's no way that tastes good, Trent. It does. It tastes great. Good. It was very good. I don't know. I mean, maybe the smell's not the best, but it was delicious. Yeah. Trent, it's diet life, bro. That's right. I'm on Trent's side. Thank you. You gotta eat gross shit and you lose weight. Thank you, Dan. There's nothing you can do about it. I, I ate some food the other day, too. Just gotta do it. Stool Scenes, episode 47. See you on Friday for hopefully a much lighter and happier show. Bro, look at my email right now. Buddha Ben is just dicking me over, just signing me up for fucking real estate appointments in fucking Wyoming. That's fucked, bro. What do you mean? Signing in Wyoming. Fredet at BarstoolSports.com? How you spell that? F-R-E-D-E-T-T-E, like Jim. That would suck if people found that out.